uh, welcome to our channel Elmika Mtandaoni. This is the fifth episode. Uh, we will just explain some examples uh, of um, objectives. Uh, in, the, in the last episode, we explained some guidelines that should be followed while you are writing uh, research objectives. So uh, this uh, short episode will be explaining or will be giving a few examples on how some researchers uh, have written their uh, uh, objectives in their uh, studies. Starting with the, this first um, researcher, uh, Mr. Agustino Mogosi, assistant lecturer uh, from the University of Dodoma at the College of Informatics and Visual Education. In his research uh, with the title Tools and Techniques for Clinical Decision Support, he had two, uh, he had the general objective that is stated to investigate the tools and techniques for clinical decision uh, support in Tanzania. As we can see, uh, it has followed uh, the guideline that it should be presented briefly and concisely. As you can see, it is very brief. Then the specific objectives here, we have to identify tools and techniques used for clinical decision support in Tanzania. As you can see, the first objective is to identify tools. After he has identified the tools and techniques, the second objective was to identify limitations of the tools and techniques. As you can see, I told you in the guidelines that the, 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 the objectives should be presented in a logical sequence. As you can see, this guy, Mr. Agustino, Mr. Mugos, first said, talked about the tools and techniques, then went to see what are the limitations of using such tools and techniques, and followed by develop a system prototype using data analytics techniques to resolve the challenges. After he has identified the limitations of the tools and techniques, then he went on and developed a prototype, a kind of system uh, that uses other techniques to resolve the challenges that he, he has pointed out. Then it was followed by to find out health practitioners' perceptions on the use of the prototype for the improvement of clinical decision support uh, you see now there, after developing the prototype, then he sent the prototype to the practitioners to use so that he can get their perceptions on the use of the prototype. So this is very important that you have to note. Among the guidelines that we have mentioned in the last episode, one was to uh, that your objective should be presented briefly and concisely. The second objective was they should be presented in logical sequence. As you can see that the first, the second, the third, and the fourth, they depend on each other. The first was to identify the tools. The second, after identifying the tools, then he found out the limitations of the tools. Then the third were to develop the system prototype to overcome the challenges. And then after developing the prototype, he sent the prototype to health practitioners so that he can get uh, the perception of such uh, practitioners. So uh, this is uh, this kind of objective has followed the guidelines as we have talked in the last episode. Let's move to the last um, a research paper that was uh, written by Mr. Barongo, also assistant lecturer at the College of Informatics in the University of Dodoma. The general objective uh, from Mr. Barongo states that to propose a framework for automating the detection of offensive messages in social networks under Kiswahili setting by applying appropriate machine learning algorithms. As you can see here, Mr. Balongo wants to propose a framework, but in proposing a framework, then he broke down uh, this main objective into smaller logical related objectives. Uh, about three specific objectives. The first one was to create a Kiswahili data set offensive messages for social networks for generating future uh, vectors. So at first, Mr. Balongo developed a, a, a data set. Then he used that data set to build a model and to evaluate that model by applying appropriate machine learning algorithms techniques for Kiswahili data set that he has collected. Then after he has built the, 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 the model, he went on and proposed the architectural framework that can be adopted in social network sites. That means this framework will be uh, adopted or will be uh, created using the model that he has built and evaluated in the above uh, objective. So as you can see with these two examples that I have mentioned to you that there is guidelines that guide 
uh, the development of research objectives are very, very, very important. You have to follow these guidelines so that you can come up with the, uh, nice uh, objectives. And another important thing is the use of action verbs. As you have seen, Mr. Balongo and Mr. Mogos, what they did, they, for example, here, Mr. Balongo said to create, to build, to propose. And if you go back here with the Mr. Mogos said to identify, to develop, to find out. So you see uh, the way we, uh, the, 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 the objectives were presented using uh, action, action verbs. So thank you very much for following Elimika um, Mtandaoni. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment below, like. Thank you very much. Ciao.